In this video, I'll be showing you our process on how we edit audio for podcasts so that listeners can get the greatest listening experience possible. Let's get it. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Takori with Think Media, helping you with the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And on this channel, we do YouTube strategy tips as well as tutorials just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So between my church and a client that I have on a weekly basis, I produce a minimum of two podcasts a week. And that's also a video podcast that goes along with that podcast. And I found a very simple, uh, effective way to make the audio sound as best as possible. We say this a lot here on Think Media, but video is actually 50% audio. It's not just all about video. Uh, you can actually have, we would say, you can have crappy video, but have crispy audio, and you can probably retain people on your content. And so really uh, taking the time to hook up your audio is really key, and I really think you're gonna get some great value out of this video. A few things before we jump into it. Uh, the first thing is Levelator. Levelator is a free app that we've been using for many years, uh, and we'll put a link to that in the description below. But this app allows your audio to be levelated. I don't know if you've ever heard uh, an audio or lit watched a video, and you're constantly turning it up and turning it down based off of the inflection of whoever the talent is. Uh, what's great about this program is it will levelate your audio, so it would make it all one volume. Whether you're yelling, whether you're whispering, it'll just make it all at one volume. That's called the Levelator app. The second thing is I will be using Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, we use the Creative Cloud Suite here at Think Media. I am aware that Adobe does have an audio program called Adobe Audition, but for the sake of time, uh, energy, and, and also speed, I just like to use what I have at hand with Premiere. And the third thing is there's a million ways to skin this cat. So I just wanna let you know, this is what we do here at Think Media and also what I do for my church and some client work. And I think it's, it's a great entry level way to just get the ball rolling on making your audio sound really good. So if you wanna learn other ways, be sure to dig in and find what's best for you. We just found that this works best for us. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. All right, so here we are on my desktop. As you can notice, it is so stinking clean because of this video. It never looks like this, but because of this video, I cleaned it up. Thank you for making me do so. Before we get into anything else, I just wanna just show you the files uh, prior to getting into this. Um, so, so, so that your back end of your workflow is already clean. So here we go, we have, as you can see, under this podcast video uh, folder, we have the two audio raw files. These are from the Zoom H4n. These are what goes straight from the mic into the Zoom. Uh, I have the, the video file of the podcast. Uh, here's the video file shot in 4K, but you can notice that there's two different people and that because of those, there's two different audio files. But you don't need raw audio files for this process to work. If you're using audio from your iPhone and you bring it into your laptop, this works as well. If, you, if you're using audio from a video, this works as well. So just keep that in mind, don't check out too soon. So we're gonna open up Premiere Pro. So here we go, I'm gonna open up Premiere Pro. Omar, why do you already have stuff in Premiere Pro? Okay, let me tell you a little sum sum. If you are doing the same kind of work, whether it be for your own personal YouTube channel or maybe you have a client that you do the same thing over and over, the same intros, the same music, the same uh, you know titles, you can have an asset sequence. So I have this asset sequence that I never, I'll always, you know, resave it into the next month. So I have my intro music and my intro, and I don't have to fish for it every time I edit. So that's just a power tip. If you, anything you could systemize, try systemizing, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna import those two raw uh, waveforms, or for you, whatever uh, your audio is, you're gonna import it. So we're gonna right click, import inside the bin. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drag these two audio files onto the sequence. And then the second thing is I'm simply gonna just cut the, the podcast from beginning to end, which it's straight through. So I'm just gonna find that intro piece. What's up, Lashinistas? Welcome to the show. So then I'm just gonna, I hit the C button to, to uh, enable my cut tool, C. If I go back to V, it goes to my arrow tool. I'm just gonna delete this. And then I'm gonna do the same with the end. So I'm zooming in and out by pressing plus and minus, by the way. So right when they, the podcast ends. And please refer somebody mm -hmm. who could find this to be of similar service or could benefit from this. Cool. Until then, we will see you in the next episode. Thank you. Thank you. Boom. So now I got my, the beginning of my podcast set, my end of my podcast, and then I'm just, I'm just gonna actually increase the gain to this, to this audio overall. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click, 
and select, select then right click. And I'm just gonna add, uh, set the gain to 10 decibels. I like to actually capture lower uh, because you can always fix audio uh, by raising up the volume, but once you distort audio, it, you actually can't get it back. And so just a good rule of thumb. And so as you notice, so before when I was talking about it uh, in the beginning of this video, levelating the audio. So if you notice, if I'm gonna, I'm gonna drag the cursor and I want you to look on the right side of the screen and just see how all over the place the levels are. So this is just from the beginning to the end of the podcast. So see that one's really up and then it goes down and then it goes down and it goes up again it goes down so if you're listening to this podcast it's just going to be either intense to your ears or your or your speakers or uh, or you're going to have to turn up your volume so we're going to actually export this audio as another raw file so i'm just going to put the cursor at the end of the audio file hit o for out and then i'm going to hit command m to export or you can go file export media and I'm going to save this file in the same folder uh, on the desktop but this time you're going to select AIFF. It's very key that you select this because it just it's another raw audio file. It's an uncompressed audio file so we're just going to make sure we put it in the podcast and we're going to call this audio process whatever we can call it whatever we want. Hit export. It doesn't take much time. A few moments later. All right, once it's done rendering, then we can go into our podcast video folder. As you can see, here is the latest uh, export. It's the audio process. So now we're just gonna drag that file into the Levelator app. If you can see right here, here's the Levelator uh, free app, and you can get the link to it in the description below. What this program is doing is it's simply taking all the different levels of the audio and making it at one level. So if you're at volume 30 on your car radio, it'll be volume 30 the entire way. Once it's done, it's gonna just put an output file in the actual folder. So now uh, we can bring this back into Premiere. Uh, but before we do that, this is just the way I do it. I like to just delete everything uh, because I'd rather just work with less files. And so I'm just gonna bring in that audio file, that output file into Premiere. And then I'm going to bring it into the same sequence now I'm just gonna add the intro and outro music, which is just in my assets sequence. I'm gonna copy, can select it all, and then paste it. Um, and then what's cool about this is I just I just put it until they talk about what the podcast is about. We're gonna be speaking about tips. Yeah. Receiving tips, etiquette on. So it's the intro, has the intro, and then it, it goes into what they're talking about. And then I'm just gonna add this little blurb toward the end. And then it really should be good to go. What's cool about podcasts is they're usually straight through. So this time we're going to actually export it as an MP3. So you're going to hit the drop down on format, hit MP3, and then 256. I'm going to change it from 128 to 256. And then this time you actually do want to title it what the podcast is actually called. And then so we're going to hit export, and boom, just like that, your audio is ready to be dropped. You got the MP3 file on deck. Just upload it to whatever server hosts your podcast and then let the world hear your message. Hey guys, this is Mike and Shauna Jones. We are the owners of Sassy Lashes. Our heart is to share with you guys our uphill battle in this lash industry and to show you what started out of a tiny bedroom in our house, extremely broke, has now turned into an eight figure company. We From this place of spiritual, emotional, mental health, you can now build healthy relationships. But it actually starts with you. Everyone say, it starts with me. From this place of spiritual, emotional, mental health, you can now build healthy relationships. But it actually starts with you. Everyone say, it starts with me. Well, hey, I hope you got so much value out of that tutorial. And if you did, why don't you go ahead and hit the like button. And question for you is, do you have a podcast? And if you do, what is it about? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you didn't notice, flash in a little sneak peek on that Think Media gear. And uh, we'll actually have opened up shop for pre-orders. So make sure you check out the link in the description below. And this video is actually a part of a three-part series all about video podcasting. And um, make sure you check out that uh, series. I'll put a link to the playlist in the YouTube card as well as in the description below. But other than that, I hope we get to see you in the next video. Take it easy. Peace.